Hi guys, so I'm Yelena, and believe it or not, today we're finishing season 2 of Black Sails. Ask us when this episode is supposed to come out. I don't know, in two weeks, let's say. Ba- basically. You know it's supposed to come out tomorrow, Hunter? Do we have Hunter <laughs> films? No, we don't. <laughs> no, we don't. No, um, we do So, I, it, it just so makes, happy. Yeah, I mean, it, it just makes sense to film Black Sails right now. It just <laughs> makes so much sense. <laughs> we're so far ahead of you guys. <laughs> like, I'm reading comments for four episodes behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so happy. I'm gonna tell you, so happy. I don't know what's gonna happen. We are gonna watch now episode nine. After that, episode ten. Yeah. Can't wait to see. Can't wait to see my boy, <laughs> and the rest of like the people. One singular boy, <laughs> and the rest of the people. <laughs> I okay. Where we left off? L- l- I was gonna say yesterday because last time we filmed we filmed black sales. <laughs> um, where we left off last episode, Vane is also in Carolina. Oh yes, that's about how the to episode steal the fucking off. shit. Yeah. Who's gonna get the gold at this point? I couldn't tell you. I li- I really I don't know. I'm not I'm not quite certain. Me neither. I honestly. think it is somehow. The thing is, I uh, can't imagine Vane, Vane uh, taking the ship. Well, what else is gonna? Be? I like, don't know. Imagine like, he just comes and they defeat him. He's like, oh well, I guys have to swim no, back. To- no, no, no. But like, just like because I don't know what's gonna happen with Flint because like the deal, if the deal is gonna be perfect, yeah, and everything's gonna make sense, which I don't, I doubt honestly. I can't see that either. But let's say, let's say that like it's gonna be perfect. The guys gonna be like, oh yes, of course, I'm gonna give everything to you. And then these pirates come. <laughs> And take the well, fucking yeah, ship. What, the, so like the, the then the deal can be perfect. So what happens with Flint? Flint's gonna be like, I'm gonna go take care of them. Yeah, yeah. Who have stolen the money? And then he's if that is the but thing like that that's is exactly the opposite that what he's fighting from for for yeah. Flint is gonna go and kill the pirates that he's trying to get. Yeah, but like he wants the legitimate Nassau. Mm. This is the road to it. And but he wants pirates to. Uh, be pardoned yeah well he's not gonna necessarily fight them he's just gonna be like let's i don't know that part like let's all again i don't that's what know. i want to say all those things like i can't imagine but like if the deal doesn't work then i can't imagine Vane taking the ship because plant is dead yeah you know yeah so like i think it's gonna be like a potential for a deal but like because of the whole vein situation right now and then going to maybe take the gold and everything Mm -hmm. that's gonna be a bit of a problem in the plan so like the plan cannot start unless we take care of that i don't know i'm not sure i'm i'm not i'm I'm not quite honestly yeah everything is like everything doesn't work well together in my mind yeah like i i do hmm. what i think vein and john can get the gold i don't know where that would leave jack and max like if right now vane comes to the ship and like john has to find a way to like broker some type of deal he could say we can go right now to i can't imagine where the gold is but like also is jack's crew supposed to be going also max now knows who knows about the gold i don't know what's about to be happening i really i really don't honestly i have no idea like like i've been thinking about this and like none of the scenarios make sense i don't know how these writers write the show i think it's bane definitely gets the ship like definitely like he did not come this far I know, and but like, like come I can't. From the fucking waters, you I, know what I, I mean? I like underst- you get something. I understand, but like I can't imagine him going away with the ship because like I don't know what, where it le- leaves. Flint. Well, they can give him a ship to go back. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how friendly you think they're gonna be. Well, I they were friendly once upon a time. Again, because what is his name? Peter Ash. Peter Ash did not know who Captain Flint was. And so now he does, and he understands. And so, like, I think he could potentially be more open to the idea. Like, even if he is not, I don't think he's going to treat Flint as a criminal. Even if he's like, I can't do it, or whatever. He's not just going to let Flint go. You know? So, like, Mm -hmm. I would hope so. I would hope so. I'm not quite certain. 
But like, I'm not sure. I I am honestly not hundred percent sure about. I can see both, because I can see both scenarios. The ones where he's like, uh, I'm gonna kill you. I said if like Flint said, uh, puts a his hand on like yeah. Charles Town, he's dead man. He's a dead man, you know. Yeah. Or it can be like, I don't want to kill you. I want to do this with you. But like, the thing is, where this is a big gamble that like Flint is taking. He wants to, yeah. he thinks that he is, he's hoping, but like, in my opinion, he's kind of positive, not positive, but like he's, he thinks there is a possibility that he's gonna persuade him. Persuade yeah. Him. I don't know. Persuade. Yeah. The guy murdered so many pirates. Yeah. So I don't know how, I don't know where he stands now. I'm not saying that he's maybe not reasonable man, but like people change. It's been a decade. I mean, that's what his daughter said. He used exactly. to be reasonable. I mean, I don't know. Maybe he can s- surprise us. I, I just, I just don't think if he, de- if he wants Flint dead, how the fuck would Flint survive this? You know what I mean? So like, he just can't want him dead. Mm-hmm. Maybe his daughter, maybe Abigail intervenes. Would he care, though? I don't know. I'm not sure. No, I, I guess we should suggest see in the episode itself. And not, like... Talk. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Okay, let's play the episode. <sighs> when we <laughs> finish this... Down. Well, I'm like, when we finish today, we're halfway through the show. Yes. And we started it yesterday. Yes. But can he even, like... Everyone knows Captain Flint. Mm-hmm. And what, like, if he just was like, oh, we're uh, gonna let him go, it, and we're gonna make everyone a deal. be like, um, no? Yeah, and we're gonna make a deal with them for an so for this I or that. Know. I'm like, I. No clue. I, I don't should just stop know. Speaking. Just those know. things somehow don't work in my mind. Oh my god, what if Peter mm-hmm. has some information from London? Like, oh. Thomas? Alive. No one saw a body. <laughs> I didn't see a body. <laughs> because, like, in my mind, Thomas is alive right now. I don't know what to tell you. I have made that happen. Oh, is that her father? Oh, yeah. I literally, I was, I was not sure what was happening. I can't say enough, miss. How sad and we all are. By this don't lie. Oh, from bread and fruits. She knows you know about the gold. You don't know that she knows. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we gonna do here, girls? Because right now Elmer is thinking she has to kill everyone with the knowledge of it. I can imagine how difficult this must be. I would think that at least with me, you would know that I know the truth about how complicated this situation is for you. There is no part of this that is complicated. Like Ross Charles, he retaliated. That is what happens in a war. A state of affairs in which resolution only comes when one side has suffered enough pain that is willing to concede its principles. I presume you've heard Charles's manifesto. You heard it's been read aloud on the beach. Oh, he said it to everyone? Yeah. Fuck. Those people up there heard him. And they came to my door not to pay their respects, but because when this war begins, they want to make sure I don't mistake them for enemies. Is that why you've come? Or have you yet to choose a side? I have seen what Eleanor Guthrie can build when she is feeling ambitious. I have seen what she can destroy when she is angry. Two words she just made. She was something else entirely. How soon can you be ready to say? What does I mean, that I mean? mean? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> my girl, that's so very scary! Like, legitimately, if I thought that any of them would die, then I would say, like, that Eleanor is going to go with the plan of killing everyone with the knowledge of gold. Because, like, she can be in the process of losing her mind a bit. But, like, there is no way that they die, you know? Yeah. So, like, then I don't know. Or maybe just, like, the plan fail. I don't know. Why are you here? Good. Why are you here? <laughs> they look like assassinators. They look like assassinators. <laughs> Cut screen. I ask that you remember that I love my daughter. I don't think she feels that. A despicable letter. I was given to dark thoughts, rage, a desire to visit revenge upon those men that 
put her through that ordeal. It would seem only reasonable then that I bear an equal measure of gratitude to the man who rescued her from it. Were it not for that gratitude, you and I would not be speaking like this. Because while I knew you once, called you friends once, I cannot fathom how those people I knew turned into you. Can you not? Ask me that. When did you first arrive in us? Two months after we saw you last in London. February? The first accounts of Captain Flint raiding shipping in the area began in June. You he moved up first, yeah. Pirate crew in four months. I became the captain of the pirate crew faster than that. It took us four months to secure our first significant prize. How did you manage that so quickly? I met a man in a tavern, called master of a well-respected crew. I hmm. persuaded him that I was someone worthless. Then listening. I killed him. The crew followed shortly thereafter. And how long after that was it that you decided to murder Alfred Hamilton? She did. Uh, he decided that it's like long before that. Mm. I received a letter. She mentioned innocently that Alfred was traveling in secret. I encouraged James to find him and to kill him. If you're going to blame anyone for it, please blame me. Sit down. Calm down. If either one of you gets any closer to the governor than you just did, I will be forced to consider that a threat to his person, and I will shoot you where you stand. Sit down. I mean, where should we get up? <laughs> like to make her point. When we received that letter from you informing us of Thomas's death, oh, okay. the damage wrought by Alfred Hamilton was he too much for them. us to bear. We allowed that anger to drive us to a dark deed. Judge me by the ends that I have come here in service of. The redemption of NASA in accordance with the principles that you and I and she and Thomas Hamilton committed ourselves to all those years ago. I don't know what's happening. I really don't know what's happening. Foot rope. Bit to a spot. Fucking death trap if it isn't fixed before we set sail. Tell me something. Is he going to find anything up there? What do you find? Like a clean An indication that the rope didn't just fray on its own? Maybe almost impossible. Almost. Almost. I love when they say almost. Like literally if they were to figure it out, like there was something suspicious. The man that saw the gold or whatever being taken away is the one that's that they would immediately yeah. know what happened there. I thought I saw something <gasps> in the water. Oh my god, you did. You really you did. did. It's very difficult to honestly yeah, approach yeah, a fucking that, ship. That's to me as well, especially from the if anybody if somebody is looking. Because like they are on water, it's not like one part of them yeah. is like not visible. Like at night, I mean, at, when they killed Ned, they swam. Who is <laughs> My girl, when you said we move at dawn, move where and do what? Oh, we finally see him. Yeah, the lesson is that you all die either way. So. When you return home. I had hoped that you and I might share a word. Total reconciliation. This is what you're suggesting. A return to colonial rule with an existing power structure. Okay, colonial rule still. It is exactly as Thomas proposed all those years ago. Yes, but then we were talking about less than half the number of criminals on the island. We were talking about a failing colony. What a failed one. We also didn't have the most respected captain on the island standing in advocacy of our plan. Most no, respected. We didn't. <laughs> we didn't have a trade boss of the other. No one likes him. Working to reform of and we didn't have a man who has established himself as the new world's most committed pirate hunter endorsing it. First thing that they will ask for is a name. And Providence will only ever succeed in so far as its God, governor yeah. can make it so. I don't like you being happy about it. That means something's bad. She doesn't, she doesn't think Oh no, well, something suspicious, girl? I don't think that there's a part for Captain Flint in Nassau's future, not with the blood on his hands. He will have to go away and leave James McGraw and Lady Hamilton to retire to the interior hmm. in peace. Something wrong? Yeah. Clock ticking. Like, what are we ticking down to? Yeah. What is the problem? Yes. Ah, oh, girl, let's listen to that. Fine. Let's what? A, a woman's intuition. Never wrong. What is the problem? Girl, I don't have that intuition. Tell me. Explain! I don't know what. Like, could it be just because, like, Vane right now is gonna come Maybe. and do this? Or is it and Peter Ash? Like, is Peter Ash accepting this too easily? I'm not sure. I don't know. God, that was 
I'm, I'm constantly nervous. This seems just, exactly everything, one everything day seems very wrong. took the ship, remember? Like, I just like, I, I keep waiting sleeping. for someone to like, Bain yes, come. when they took the ship. Yeah. Is he dead? Randall? He's dead. He's dead. They already on the ship. No. Literally the same as episode one yeah, the, of season two. Uh -huh, okay, yeah. That's when they entered the ship. Oh my god, what yeah. goes around comes around. Oh, beautiful. <gasps> I mean, I'm so sad. I can't believe Randall's dead. Me neither. I can't believe Randall's dead. I can't believe Randall's dead. Boy, behind you. It's always behind you. Oh, that's uh, that's uh, okay. That's him. Well, Same. they're just killing them in the sleep. They're just killing all of them. And no one's making a fucking sound. They're killing all of them. Oh my god. Well, I guess we know who gets to go the gold. Well, my boy, I know you're gonna be fucking alive. I guess it's a good thing that we were. Are they all gonna die except. <laughs> When the eyes are fighting. Like John and Billy. Everyone else. I mean, I don't know about the one that we also kind of know. Oh my god, this one is the, 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 the Mr. Smith, what's his name? Oh my god, you're down! You get a fuck away from him! Get the fuck Let's away from Billy. Billy! My boy! I don't know how anyone's supposed to go after uh, against Vane, to be quite honest. Billy, maybe we should run. Billy's not dying now. No, he's not, but like, how does he survive? I don't know, maybe John? Okay, time up. How do you choose which one's not to kill and which one's to kill? I feel like everyone on the island loves Billy. So, maybe As they should. Alive. Did you mean it? Hmm. To leave Flint behind? Earlier. Are you truly ready to let him go? I don't think he, he can. Look at him. tell you where that man came from? Oh my god, no. 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 Is it a book? I told you of my grandfather, the Rosemary. In his youth, he was a deckhand on a privateer off the coast of Massachusetts. One night, he was alone on the late watch. He sees this man climbing out of the water and onto his ship. A stranger. A stranger approaches my grandfather and asks him for a little rum. The man said that he'd fled his fishing trawler, accused of killing another man. When asked his name, the man simply replied, Mr. Flint. The stranger never said whether he was guilty of the killing or why he chose that ship or where he was bound. He just, just sat there. Eventually, he asked my grandfather for a little more rum from below. When he returned, the man was gone. My grandfather was in Boston for a month after that, never heard a word about a killing or a fugitive at large. It was as if a seed conjured that man out of nothing and then <laughs> taking him back for some unknowable purpose. When I first met Mr. Gates and he asked me my name, I feared the man I was about to create. I asked to turn and learn the way for a while and then dispose of him when his purpose was complete. I thought of that story. Am I ready to let him go? The truth is, every day I've worn that name, I've hated him a little more. I've been ready to return to the sea for a long time. James. They're ready for you, doctor. I can't even speak about it. I can't even. I'm sweating. They, 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 they have not seen John. What the fuck do we do now? I will pretend to be one of the dead. The moment the ship is clear of the area, if not soon, the man before the crew to the sword yet. What's that, mate? Eventually they find us down here and. The okay, swim. jump in the water. <laughs> so either we swim to the beach and might be face the nose. Or That's true. Nothing, in which case it's the sword. Third option, you already know it. We know the option. But just like Jack is also gonna depart. And potentially maybe Eleanor. Not necessarily Eleanor, but just like whatever she is planning. Either she's planning on killing or she's planning on departing first. Where we go. Yeah. I'm an Englishwoman. You're my father's daughter. Hmm. 
Why will be the end of piracy in this place and it begins tonight? What do you mean? Oh my god, if I kill them all. We discovered a plan by one of the crews. Oh my god. We claim a forest that is so large it would upset our world here. We've been golden piracy for years, possibly decades to come. But at the same time, I don't think anybody dies. Like, no, we need Jack dies, like, Max doesn't die. That's why I'm thinking the only way is for her to get it first. Before it began. How she ended it? No. No one has died. Yes, exactly. Okay, people have died. But like, did they kill just the whole crew? Because like, it's not like Jack and Max are gonna die. I guess they lose the crew. Oh my god, how many crews have died in this episode? They have gotten rid of pirates in this episode. Have you come here because you know something? Have you heard something? I just learned it. So I shouldn't have left the way I did. That's fine. Without telling you, it wasn't your fault what happened. It was the hard fucking choice put on me. I didn't think I was going to see you again. Aww. I thought you'd just get the boat going and board the ship and never look back. I thought about it. But then I. That's what I mean. No one is killing him on her watch. Really? Ah! Okay, Jack, become a fighter now. No. No need. No need. She can handle herself. Well, there, there goes Elmore's plan. <laughs> She did send. She did. People to kill all of them. That makes sense. She's hearing, hearing the clock ticking. I believe yeah. there is a way that I can help you achieve your intentions for the future of Is this a lie? And I am ready to do it. But? However, my plan will require an act of you, Mr. McGraw. For him to die? And I don't think you're going to like it. <laughs> I can only imagine a way for him to die. <sighs> Thanks to Anne. My girl. Eleanor would be returning from the interior sooner than later. Can you sail with help those men? How could a Xana sailing? Yes. I was about to say we have one more. Fuck okay. it. Fuck her. <laughs> we leave now. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Just like Vane is also gonna go to the gold. Where are we gonna? How can this ship? Can the ship go? Did it, wasn't there a problem with the weight? We did that. They already emptied it. Yeah, but like, I think they still said it's a problem with the weight. And where are they gonna hide it? Are you not all going? I thought we were all going. I mean, I, I mean, maybe not think Max is going. Max White literally saved her life. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who's getting the goal. The goal is my least favorite problem. Now I'm terrified he's about to die. I think they're asking him to die, but that's not gonna be happening. So like, I just don't know what's gonna be happening. Which one is it, boy? Which one is it? <laughs> Which one is it? You're the boatswain. Mr. Gates is born. Aren't you? The thing with an affair. When Jack and I attempted to alter the boat on your ship, see Flint deposed. It was intended to induce key men on your crew to defect. Oh, <laughs> he wants him? Then to recruit them ourselves. <laughs> Understandable. The most specific thing <laughs> was with an eye toward recruiting you. We know about you. Understandable. Not some petty thief in it for coin. Not some coward in need of a bottle to find his courage in a fight. A proper pirate. Committed to our way of things. Committed to a life free of the yellow fuck you. And loyal to a fault. <laughs> you can see how that is a man we'd have wanted on our side of things. You have no fucking idea what's going on here. Do you? Flint stole from me and I'm making it right. Exactly. You hate Flint. I hate Flint. But right now he's talking about how we survive what comes next. 
that you're talking about what you think is yours. <laughs> when the Navy arrives, they aren't going to give a fuck what belongs to you or what belongs to me. Because to them, there is no difference between you and me. He has you so afraid of an imagined threat. Yeah. It's so threat. I saw it. He keeps saying imagined With threat. Like, what do you mean imagined? The garrison on Harbour Island. Royal Marines. A full company of them. 200 men in support. The Scarborough anchor. And a commander just waiting for the order to begin his assault against us. And exterminate every last one of us. There is nothing imagined about the threat we all face. I assure you. And right now you already plan to reckon with it to try and fight them head to head. Each crew for themselves. Right now, Flint's plan is the only plan. What are you thinking now? I have no idea. <laughs> Billy makes sound arguments. You must have missed someone. Can we see all that without seriously risking losing that mask? What are we ticking down to? Does I don't you, know. Does it not make you nervous when the clock stuck starts? Of course, uh, usually ticks out uh, to death. Ticking down to somebody's life. Exactly. What, girl? But there are other men who oppose it categorically. We have to completely redefine their understanding of. Who you are, what you are. Okay, that would mean not death, but like, what does he have to I do? As we do that, with the truth, I will come with you to NASA. Survey the situation. If it is as you say it is, you and I will sail to London. <laughs> what do you mean if it is what you say it is? NASA is falling apart. You Everyone's trying to kill each other. And you will tell your story. My story. What part of my story? Thomas. All of it. You will tell them about the affair with Thomas. Tell them how it ended. You will explain to them what it drove you to do. And when you do, Captain Flint will be unmasked, the monster slain. Monster. And in his place will stand before all the world a flawed man, a man that England can relate to and offer its forgiveness. God. He will not until they beg him for forgiveness. What you are asking of me. I wish there were another way, but I have given it great thought and I cannot find it. Tell me this is something that you are willing to do and you and I will walk up this house together, announce our partnership to the street, and prepare to set sail for NASA. Fucking Flint through and through. He literally says that he... Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, God, that the I way that I thought he was gonna kill him. No, I mean, I, I don't know what the, the fuck that. that was gonna. I don't believe anything that's happening right now. Your cloak, my lord. Where did you obtain it? Oh my god. What? It looks very much like one that used to reside in my husband's parlor in London. Identical, in fact. Okay. okay. I remember gifting it to you. Did they give it to him to tell them that he died? Oh my god. Did they give it to him to tell him that he died? It was a gift. Because you did what? From Alfred. No. Because did what? Finish the sentence. He's about to die. Flint's about to kill him. From Alfred Hamilton. The Earl was no friend of yours. Yet he grants you gifts from his own home. Why would he do that? All these years it never sat right with me how Alfred was able to turn the Navy against James. Can I kill them? How Alfred would they? How is it they going to survive this? He wouldn't have gone to them armed only with unfounded suspicions he would have needed a witness someone who knew Thomas oh, yeah. and James well enough to give the accusation credibility oh my god oh fuck so now he will be complicit in Thomas's death asked you to betray <laughs> Thomas in exchange for which you what do we do that what what do we do that you made a king in the new world what do we do with that my boy can't Perhaps this is an opportunity for us all to find a little forgiveness. Forgiveness? Oh, God. What forgiveness are you entitled to? You stand back in the shadows, pushing James out in front of the world to be laid bare for the sake of the truth. Does the truth about your sins come to light? You know nothing of my sins. There, when Alfred Hamilton threatened my family standing, my daughter's future, if I failed to cooperate, were you there? I visited Thomas at the hospital to confess my sins and heard him offer his full and true forgiveness. He knew I had no choice in the no matter. No choice? 
You wish to return to civilization. That is what civilization is. Fuck. We're gonna fucking start a war against civilization. I really but at this point would think he would kill him, but like how will we exit this? Yeah, we we how do we exit this? You destroyed our lives! You I am sorry for so what I did. Died in a cold. I am trying to help you. What more do you want from me? I want to see this whole goddamn city, this city that you purchased with our misery. Burn. I want to see you hanged on the very gallows you've used to find men for crimes far slighter than this. I want to see that noose around your neck, and I want to pull the fucking Leo with my own two <laughs> Не разумно, че се даси. Не толкова не разумно, че се даси. Znači sam mislila iz nekog razloga kje Miranda sve vreme gledala toliko nekako sumljivo je epizodi kada će ona umreti, ali nije tu imala nikog snisla zašto bi ona umrla. Who are you? Are you Underhill? I am. And I suggest you step aside, sir. We've no quarrel with you. However, we will be taking the girl. Girl, you play with her fire. Oh, thank oh, God. You're alive. Not dead. You're the only one I know. So, I can technically no one died right now. Except oh, Randall! Randall. I'm ran what the fuck is happening in this episode? Are you not shocked? I can't even concentrate on whatever. Like, all I see is Lance's face. I didn't even see it. I was so shocked. I didn't even see him. I can't believe this happened. He was talking about letting Flint go into the ocean. He is Flint now. I'm so shocked. I can't even concentrate on whatever is happening right now. Me neither. What's approaching? He has a proposition for you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Look, you cannot Randall fight Sanders. him, but you cannot outsmart him. Ready the guns! Idiots! For who? What's who? that mean? Shut up. They're gonna shoot fighting. whoever. Whoever's coming, they're gonna shoot them. They can only be bringing Flint. I don't know what's happening. They can only be bringing Flint because, like, Peter. Would not like be feel good about the fact that he killed Miranda, you know what I mean? What are you supposed to have his legs? I don't know. I don't know. What follows is a message. I trust to the good faith of your arrival, and I accepted Captain Flint as my guest in the same spirit. But I now regret to inform you that he has violated that trust in a most deceitful We have not done anything! You have literally shot her! You wanted to feel who's coming day. But now I feel like they're going to save him. I legitimately feel so. Because like, he They're exactly like, we might hate each yeah. other amongst ourselves. But like, we hate them more. Exactly. The they are your enemy. You fucking idiots, we have a warship, we're gonna seize I'm or sink you and chills. fucking they're kill gonna all work of you. Together. Yes, 100%. He's gonna be like, I don't have time for this. Come on, tell Let's, him. Tell yeah, 100%. Tell me. Really? <laughs> Don't need to be this so dramatic, easy. but okay. I know, but like this well, is so easy for uh, Bob. Jack is, John is not a fighter. Uh, yeah, but like uh, Bane is. Yeah, <laughs> one of the better ones. No, Bane. Like when someone traps him, I'm just like he <laughs> is just abiding his time. Like he is not actually yeah. trapped. You heard what Billy said as well. Mm -hmm. You now see the danger. He was yeah. living in his own fucking bubble. Yeah. Honestly, I'll be fucking terrified. And he honestly, came after this me. is I can't wait for him to save him. I mean, for... Like, yeah. You were right. Oh, yes. <laughs> Could scream now. <laughs> One good thing for I'm the love of God. Never fucking like. the difference between you and I. 
But we know the difference between them. <laughs> we might again. NASA is strongest when she's feared. And if what promises to happen here tomorrow actually happens, a trophy made of one of her most notorious captains, she may never be feared <laughs> again. So I suggest we do something. <laughs> I suggest we get him the hell out of there. <laughs> I don't know, girl. The way that I love people working together. I don't know what to tell her about this. Captain Hugh. What can I tell you, girl? I love you. But We're like, just. I understand you hold in your possession ten pardons for whomever was to deliver you, Captain James Flint. Yeah, that's what he wants to do. <laughs> I wonder if I can't do better. What? You want to give her? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Oh my god, fucking horny girl. This fucking. Agassi, the trade boss in NASA. Woman who lorded over a savage pirate kingdom as a I am shocked thing. of everything Without I being, expected to happen. Function. This here this is, is the, the last one. thing but that like I ever expected. Anyone to be savage. Oh my fucking god, no girl, words. how do we end up here? No uh, words. boys on the ship, oh, do you all and... wanna also ban out together to save her? <laughs> I'm Oh, listen you fucking bitches. If I hate anyone on the show, I hate all of you. No, I hate no one else. No, no I hate everybody. I, I uh, love I, I love everyone except them and except them everyone. and except yeah, them. I like everyone. I hate not a NASA. I hate know? everybody on this beach everyone except Everyone that Eleanor. doesn't live in NASA <laughs> except. <laughs> what is that? It covered up my soul. I hear it. There's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's of course. <laughs> Who else is there? I can't. I can't believe what happened. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> when something shocks me that much, I can only laugh. I didn't even see his face. I didn't even. L I just heard him yelling, and I didn't even see anything. God. What, did, what can you say? What can I tell? No, I'm so shocked. I can't. Like, I couldn't even process what was happening. Like, we were just talking about it. Uh, just because, like, there was something looming. You know what I mean? And like, I was thinking while it was. While everything was looming, I was like thinking, could there be... Because like, Flint is not gonna die, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't worry about that. And But like, I was thinking, if they wanted to hang someone, how could they potentially hang Miranda? Because like, Miranda is there, and Miranda is, we talked about this before, I think at least, Miranda is the type of character that could very easily die, you know? And, and so, when it was going, I was thinking, maybe something could happen, but just like... I didn't really think about it, you know, like just something felt off, you know what I mean? But just like, I was not prepared for it. Yeah, honestly. I was really not prepared for it. Honestly, it did cross my mind for a second there. Especially but because like, she was the one looking I, at the clock ticking. Yeah, but like, I mean, and the cameras constantly mm, her and it was her. something suspicious. But like, honestly, it didn't make sense in my opinion. I couldn't figure out how she could die. Yeah. I even thought like maybe if they want to hang them both... And then yeah. they hang Miranda first, and then uh, f somehow Flint, Flint maybe they save him. Sa uh, sa yeah, something like that. But like even that, it makes sense because why would they hang her? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there was no reason. The only person was Peter Ash, who who heard. I mean, and the other guy who was in the room. But like he works for Peter Ash, could not do anything against that. You know, like in my mind, the only person who heard Miranda saying like blame me, I'm the one who sent him, I'm the one who told him you have to kill him. I'm, the, you know, yeah. Like that's Peter Ash, and I don't think he doesn't seem like horrible person no he even doesn't. though like he doesn't seem like without reason yeah you know like even like, now what we learned about that he is the one that kind of let's say betrayed him you know he, again he has some type of an explanation that can be understandable that doesn't need that to is, in my opinion completely understandable yeah that doesn't and, need to but like see that he's like an evil person exactly but like it's completely different when you give that explanation to peter who yeah. you betrayed and who can understand that you did that for your family, for your future. Oh, Thomas. It, Thomas, yeah. It is selfish. Yeah. Uh, it is... Uh, you are betraying your friends, people yeah, who absolutely. you love, let's say, you know, and care for. Yeah. And that is horrible. Yeah. Uh, but, like, it is understandable. I mean, you are betraying them because of someone you love. Exactly. You know, it would be very hypocritical of us to sit here and, like, explain I mean, all of Flint's reasoning for killing so many people. 
yeah. because of Thomas, kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, like, not then understand uh, what Peter was talking about, as in, like, they would have, like, they would have destroyed his uh, family's yeah. lives, you yeah. know? Like, he has his priorities, it's just yeah. what it is, you know? And so, to me, honestly, that made sense, but, like, it is different when you're trying to explain that to a person who lost her husband mm. and her love. So to her, she want, she hates you. Yeah, of course. Especially because you were her friend. Yeah. And your husband died be- because of his friend. Yeah. You know, you betrayed him. Yeah. So like, it's even, I mean, it is not worse, of course, but like they hated and they killed Thomas's father, yeah. Alfred. Uh, but like technically you helped him achieve yeah. that and you help him kill Thomas yeah uh, so yeah I completely understand her rage yeah, I mean just because like he had an explanation doesn't mean that the party that was hurt by it needs to like accept that explanation yeah. you know what I mean yeah. just because the explanation that exists I in that in that moment I saw no I just want to say like, I, I think Miranda there did I mean the actress did an amazing job we just found out job. that they their husband and wife yeah her actors. and Peter Ash honestly they did an amazing job in that scene mm. and uh, I I again I said that many times I love because like we love Flint for who he is and how this drive him to drove him to darkness yeah you know the love and the revenge and anger and everything you know yeah uh, but like he does have a goal in his mind yeah you know and uh, uh, and I we love that but, uh, sorry I went to different subjects that I wanted to talk about but like we love him for who he is how this because like because we love that like that that is the reason why he's doing all of this that he is so hurt that is a perfect explanation to me but like again she is hurt as well she is full of anger as well yeah and i loved seeing that in this episode because her husband died like flint is not only one who is suffering she's suffering as well just as much you know yeah i mean just because like we have seen you know flint is kind of our main character yeah i mean there's many main characters here but like you have been trying to figure flint out for so long as to why he was so angry and everything like it's easy to i guess forget that there is someone else grieving thomas just as much Mm -hmm. you know who loves Thomas just as much. And just yeah. because like Flint's rage is let's say more visible doesn't mean that her rage didn't exist. And I think yeah. this episode, like there what what happened in the end, her last scene. I mean, like what a way to go. Yeah. Like screaming all that about how she would want him dead. Like just to show how in what pain she also was in. It's just like that she found let's say maybe like a healthier outlet than Flint, because like Flint has gone 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 down a route of a lot of like anger and a lot of the things that he has done have been morally questionable i mean not morally questionable they have been wrong you know what i mean like (laughs) morally questionable she did not go down that route and so i really like seeing that in her last scene you know just to show that there was someone else who was suffering just as much yeah you know uh and then she died like i at that like the, the way the whole scene ended like i was sweating throughout it she is screaming and like i'm looking at flint's face and the way that they're filming it I'm just, like, waiting for Flint to jump. You know what I mean? Because, like, they, they're showing Flint's face. And I'm like, James who? Like, James McGraw who at this point? Like, his the actor does such a great job. Because, like, for the past couple of episodes, you can see something that resembled James. Like, he had soft eyes at some at, at some point, you know? And you can see the, the, the remnants of that man. And then, as this scene progressed, and the way that his eyes went, it was just, like fully flint but like i did see a conflict as well in Mm -hmm. his eyes yeah like i did see rage yeah but like i did see a conflict like i think that that is the reason because at the end of the day they are doing this for thomas yeah they can't save him now yeah you know uh so like i in my eyes at least i did see a conflict that's why he didn't jump immediately i mean no, that's I, why I, he I was, was ready that yeah that's why he was ready to uh, say in front of everybody that like thomas was his love and that they did and that he did all of that for revenge <sighs> yeah because like ugh, again if you I, I really was not sure how he would be willing to accept that because like i kept that entire conversation really tied back to the conversation with him around and flynn in episode um seven i think of season one you know when he was talking about yeah. how like if he goes and like accepts the pardon or accepts yeah. forgiveness then he 
accepts the, f- the, 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 the label that they put on him as this yeah. monster and he will not do that. And that the only way this sends is when they beg him for forgiveness. And what we see here was basically them asking Flint to absolve both Peter Ash and uh, Alfred Hamilton from what they have done, you know? Yeah. And he shook his hand. Yeah. She shook his hand as a way that, like, he was kind of going to do that. Yes. And so, like, when Peter Ash, like, when Miranda saw the clock and, like, connected all these things, that he was the one that kind of betrayed him. And, like, I was, I felt rage for them as well. And, but I'm I'm thinking while they're standing there, like, you can have what you wanted. You can have what Peter wanted. Exactly. You just need to, like, how they say, not let this go, you know what I mean? But you need to swallow this now. Because, like, it is for the greater good. Like you said, Peter is... Uh, Thomas is dead. You know, for all they know, Thomas is dead. Yeah. And this would give you some type of future that you want. But, and like, now for you all have they be... know... But, like, we know more. <laughs> Thomas is... I am sorry. I have not seen a body. Until you fucking show me a body, I, you will I mean, not I, convince I know, me I agree, that he is but, dead. like, it's funny. I know, I know. I'm like, they don't know, but I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they don't know that he's dead. I know. They don't know that he's alive. I know that he's alive. <laughs> And so, like, I'm, I, I was just thinking this is so difficult now because now you, you need to, like, contain that rage that you feel that you're absolutely, perfectly... And I feel like uh, he was fighting it. I feel yeah, like he... Yeah. Like, there was two sides here. He was really fighting it I was just, until I, that I, moment. I was, I was uncertain because I was like, please fight it. Like, please don't let it overtake you because, like, if it overtakes you to the point that you maybe kill Peter Ash, I don't know what we do then. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you're going to be stuck here. And so I wasn't sure what was happening. And they kept pointing at Flint's face and I'm I was just waiting for someone to kill someone you know and they decided and to so, kill Miranda of all people for a split second for a when love. I saw blood on Miranda's face I, I just I just thought Flint shot him Flint doesn't have a gun you know yeah. what I mean but like it's not as I was thinking at the moment I was like maybe he took a gun from somewhere <laughs> or whatever I like I literally thought he shot Peter and Peter's blood went on Miranda and Can like then she fell. Something? Like that's how much I was I, I did not expect Can this I to tell happen. You something? At that moment. There is no way he would have taken a gun. He would strangle him with his bare hands. Yeah. yeah. Like, there is no other way. It's not like I was giving much <laughs> thought to it as things were happening. I did not I like he would take a kitchen knife. When you know? she dropped, I did not say anything for the next five minutes. Like, I just heard that at some point he screamed and, like, did he knock Peter or did he knock the one that shot her? I don't know what happened. What? Who did he knock down? The guy who shot her. The, the guy who shot her. So who kicked him then? I don't know. Everybody just, like, stopped him. I, I, oh, another guy, I guess. I literally, that's what I mean. With like, a gun or something. I don't know. And I saw nothing. Then I just saw when he was on the ground looking over at her. Oh and my that's, God, that's that the well. only thing I saw after that. I mean, point. there were more in the in the room. I don't know, but like Abigail was in the room. I think. Yeah, Abigail started screaming. Oh my yeah. God! Yes. No, like I literally blacked out at that point. I did that. I, it really caught me off off guard. I really did not expect it. I I no words honestly because like I feel so sad for him. I mean, I feel so sad for her as well. But like, okay, now she's dead. It's official. So. <laughs> let me feel sad let for him let me feel sad for him you know they had a conversation about Flint and how he got how he decided to take that name oh that and was and how so uh, there was a guy again let's not repeat the whole story about his father or grandfather grandfather, grandfather uh, who met that Mr. Flint and he came and went like he wasn't even there you yeah. know just and like he, taken by the sea. Exactly. And he wanted to be just like that. He came there and he wanted to put on this persona and like put him away. Yeah. And he hated wearing that persona every single day that he wore him, basically. Yeah. And like I see that he can't wait to put him down. Like and the way that he says it, like each day I hate him more and more. Yeah breaks my fucking heart you know and i think he was so ready to let him go and don't be flint anymore you know yeah and then this happened because like when he was talking about that you know i was thinking you're not gonna let it go but like i wasn't certain like why you know i wasn't certain is it gonna be a thing like he thinks it's gonna be easy to like let go of that but like even if he succeeds like that anger and pain is still gonna follow him through and so like i was thinking that because like when he was saying it you know when they speak about oh potentially i am going to do this that means that that thing is not gonna happen 
And so I, 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 I was just thinking that maybe because like he is gonna, he's gonna think that it would, it would be easy to like kind of let go of that and he's not even gonna realize that that's who has he has become through time but now because Miranda died I think Miranda was that like you know that part of James McGraw and now they have killed her and thus kind of killed uh kind of killed James McGraw and now Flint remains I mean I have always um the thing that he was talking about like being Flint and like wearing that let's say armor and kind of that not being him you know there's the quote i always loved from i think kurt vonnegut i don't know how to pronounce his last name ever but like he says like we are what we pretend to be so like be careful about what you pretend to be and like he has been this for the past 10 years you know it is not at this point it is not just a persona that you put on yourself you've got you have done this for so many years i don't think like flint and james mcgraw are you know, two separate personalities. This, this is just who you are right now. The thing is, why I feel so sad for him is because he hates it so much. Yeah. Because he wants... Not, he would give everything not to be this person anymore. Yeah. Like we said, like we you know, we, we saw in the past many episodes, uh, since, he sh- since he talked to, I think, John, that he cares, still cares how people perceive him. Yeah. Uh, what people think of him, you know, and uh, I don't know. I am so sad that like he cannot let it, him go, and that like right now he's not gonna be able to at any point, you yeah. know. Again, I don't know what's gonna happen in the future. I still am of the same opinion <laughs> that uh, I think he will let him go at some point or try to. I don't know. At the same time, if we think that Thomas is dead, that that just means they're gonna reunite at some point is that gonna be bad because he did wear this persona he did do all of these things and he's not gonna be able to let it go let let him go or is it gonna go the opposite direction i am not sure i don't know i really like i can't i can't figure out where flint's story is gonna go and where he is gonna go as a character i mean it like i really it's my favorite characteristic about him which is like that sad thing about like how he cannot let's say win you know like that there is this the 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 thing that he has become like he cannot let it go because of all the things that have happened you know it's like my favorite flying characters let's say i like the like the only image i have like if if we say that thomas is dead like the only way that i think flint can end up if he's not dead um I can just see him in the in, in, in a cabin in the woods, like by himself and just like living life that way. You know? Mm-hmm. I just like I can't That's what he that's what he said in Miranda as well in this episode. Uh, mm-hmm. we're gonna let go and we're gonna retire basically somewhere in the woods. Yeah. And that's gonna be like that's the gross. only way that I can see And him. that's something that like I think he wants. You know? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I agree with I agree with you that like something like that is the story where I see for him. I don't know exactly in which way, with Thomas or without Thomas. It doesn't matter. My pro- my my thing with Thomas is if he is alive, I yeah. don't know in what condition he is in. You know what I mean? Like if he was in this like hospital. One of you guys like wrote about those hospitals in that time and like how awful they were. Like if he was there for ten years. I like I I don't know what they have done to that man. I will go and burn that fucking hospital down, because like the- I agree, <sighs> but like I don't I can't see the ending. If he is alive, I can't see a horrible ending. It's gonna be traumatic. It's gonna be hard. You know. Maybe they just go to live in the woods together. That's that's something. And like you... try to both of them. That's what like, I wanna say. Exactly. That's what I wanna say. Like I understand what you're talking. That like he he's gonna be bad in bad condition mentally you know uh but at the same time if he is alive he's alive like if his character is alive he's alive with a purpose yeah you know yeah it's same for flint with me you know yeah i i don't know somehow flint is different for me than the other characters who have done horrible things 
in the name of love they can go two different ways the ones where they die yeah you know and the ones where they like you said rehabilitate yeah and somehow with all the feelings that that Flynn has yeah I can definitely see him going down the path of rehabilitation yeah I honestly think for, that most, is... for most of the characters that I love that go down this route route I usually think that death is at the end you know and for some reason I usually reason, think that, that as well and usually it is a case yeah I think it's so just, as well. something feels different for me now I wanted to say as well like I, I at this point at least I don't know if things will change in the future at this point I don't think he is the type of character that dies just me because neither. like I think it's so cruel yeah what has happened to him and so I like agree. I kind of they made him so understandable yeah and so like it, it, it's sort of like he, you know, the quote, he deserves a soft epilogue. Like, I would burn the whole <laughs> England to the ground if he doesn't... I fucking, like, the God, when they say, like, fucking civilization or whatever, yeah. we're gonna civilize. Civilization. How the fuck do you define it? Like, how the fuck... What? How are you different than, like, what the, the savages that you call the pirates? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just, like... You, ugh, all of you are the fucking same, but like you wear a fucking crown and like you think you're above people, you know, like I just, ugh, I, I think everything, everyone should burn to the ground. Fucking Britain, holding all fucking colonies, burn to the yeah. ground. Like the pinnacle of evil. No, Brit, honestly. No, no, I, 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 I don't know where we're going to go with this now. I am so like, can we just talk about the ending? Can the we vein. just, my God, vain, the boy, thing is, the way that you are about to rise. I, I mean, you have risen just by this fucking <laughs> ending scene. And I have liked you. I have really liked him throughout the season. Um, but like, I, I like, I liked him because uh, uh, the main thing was his feelings for Eleanor. And that made him very like, uh, how, how do I say it? Like very able to like empathize with him you know because there was that like human uh part that you see in him you know and like i you know from a standpoint of a character he is i think he is smart uh and i think he is very uh capable in like being a captain and 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 doing all that um but now here this at the end with his realization because like he was really in a bubble like he kept saying like who really is gonna come like we are but, strong like, we're that's gonna what do i want to say because like he's like nobody's gonna dare to come yeah. and touch us because yeah. like we're strong strong and yeah. feared and uh yeah, yeah. and that's what uh, he said to eleanor like oh, we are gonna they're not gonna come for the next year the next decade the next century we're gonna yeah. live in peace and like he is not correct you know what I mean? He just lived in his kind of own, like, you know, let's say delusion or whatever. And the second that he came to Billy and started talking mm-hmm. about it, uh, about that to him, I knew what Billy's going to say because, like, that's why he's following Flint. He yeah. hated Flint, you know? He still hates Flint. He still hates Flint. But, like, before that he came, when he came back, I wasn't sure how he's going to, what he's going to do. Mm-hmm. Because Flint is still captain and like now he finds out that he killed Yates. But like he now has a different perspective yeah. because he was in a camp with the, uh, with the British Navy. Soldiers, yeah. Navy, yeah. Uh, and, who uh, tortured him. Who tortured him and he, he saw how they look at yeah. them, yeah. you know. And uh, that, uh, that like what Flint is trying to do. Yeah. Is the right thing for like them. Like he said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Yeah, and exactly. And so like Flint right now is his friend. And like, I, I really I really adore Billy. I think Billy is a very, very straightforward person mm. that like has, I think all of his intentions and thoughts are like right. Mm. You know, he is kind of like a moral center of the show. He has more uh, like, I, I, yeah, I can't yeah. say like you can, I think you can look towards him as like what could be the right thing potentially yeah, to do yeah. in that moment. Like I think, you know, from season one to now he has... He has seen what the danger and, is. Yeah, and uh, when he talked to the to Vane, I thought that is somehow gonna influence his perspective and opinions, but like I couldn't really see why because at that point we still didn't know what was what yeah. was about to happen yeah. in the NASA and what was happening. Yeah. But like Vane, you know, clearly by the way that he was talking to Billy about everything, he respects Billy. Yeah, he respects Billy, and so like he would take his words. Yeah, as that, something exactly. to like pay attention exactly. to, and so exactly. like by paying attention to these words, now when he came and heard yeah. them talking about how they're gonna hang pirate Flint, you know, the worst of the worst or whatever, he kind of realized what 
is coming to them and how they see him. Because like we can say that many men on this ship are polar opposites of each other. You know, Billy and compared to Vane, just not like polar yeah. opposites of each other. But to them, they're all the same. Yeah. And so like you're gonna band with your people. Yeah. To go against the common exactly. enemy. And so like while Vane is like, I hate Flint. You know, I'm allowed to hate Flint and kill him. Not yeah. you. Yeah. You're yeah. not allowed to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You're also going to make NASA appear weak That's as what well. That's said, yeah. Nobody's going to fear NASA. Yeah. After. No, honestly, I that really... That was so love. fucking It was good. funny to me with Vin this episode because, again, like, I really appreciate him as a character. I think he's a great character. I really love what they did to, uh, with him in this season mm. with Eleanor. But, like, I don't root for him Mm -hmm. in comparison to some other guys. You know, Mm -hmm. some of the rest of... Like, let's say, when he fought, but he came there, and when I saw him kill all the people, like, I was so happy when Billy came and started punching. You know, I was rooting for them at that point. And then even with John, I was, like, so proud that he... I did the thing, even though he did this, and like no, Van was just like, let me see what you want to do. Exactly. Let me see it because like exactly. I know I can get out of this. Of course, this is not a <laughs> like, problem. Like this is nothing for him. This is a bother to me. Yeah. A bit, you know. It's like let's just see how Kick this, up, how this, you know? how this <laughs> trends are. Like what well, what happens now? Uh, but like I was so proud and happy mm. that John managed to do something like that. That he figured it out. But in, in the last scene, the way that I was rooting for fucking Wayne, like the way that like I. Can't wait uh, to see. When he said, like, we're going to go. I don't know exactly what words he was. Like, we're going to go and save him. Yeah. Yes, you will. <laughs> like, again, the thing is, everyone in NASA is kind of trying to kill each other. You know yeah, what I mean? That's when, and when I, Peter is, said, let's go to NASA. I was, honestly, I was terrified. I, was like, let's I don't not. think you're going to like what you see. <laughs> exactly. And, like, it's, I think it's so funny because I like everyone. Everyone's trying to kill each other. Like, yeah. characters that I love are trying to kill other characters that yeah. I love. Like, Eleanor in this episode mm. was about to kill Jack. And I'm like, okay, I mean, I get it, girl. Yeah. Like, I get, I'm not gonna, I'm not here to judge you. I get where you're coming from. This is now a bit of a difficult situation yeah. for you. And so, like, yeah. when I understand everyone, I love everyone. So when they're trying to kill each other amongst themselves, I'm like, oh, well. But, like, this You're not gonna was, succeed, so it's fine. This was a long time coming for Eleanor, let's yeah. put it that way. Because she's very brave and she managed to figure out many things, yeah. you know? But I am not shocked that this happened to her. I am scared, you know, but I am not shocked. I This was my first case scenario because always with everything, I knew that Wayne loved her. Yeah. So at some point she was going to be fine, you yeah. know. But like with this happening, I don't think she's going to die, but like she's going to have a different story. That's for sure. Uh, but like know, I'm like, terrified. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what route we're going to go down on because like she is going to go like towards the enemy mm. you know and like i don't know what they're gonna what they're gonna do to her mentally like i don't know at what what i mean she's to, to kind of the same take her. i she's kind of in the same situation that flint is right now yeah but just like, like no one's coming to save her no one's coming to save her i yeah. mean yeah it's not like they're gonna hang her but like uh, sometimes death is kinder you know what i mean I don't know. So I really, I, I really, I think this is about to be bad for her. I don't know what what they're gonna um, do to her. No, I think like the 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 progression of each and every single character in this season has been like done so well. Yeah. I loved, loved, oh my God, John, love that boy from the beginning. Okay, mm. let me just tell you. And now we are seeing what we thought we were gonna see with him, mm. which is like someone that is like very selfish. And that is very like a lone wolf and cares only about himself. Making a plan, a third option of a plan. Like all the plans can get him killed. Like realistically, all of, all of them can get them killed. Uh, but like he went with a plan that could save everyone else as well. And I am sure when the guy asks him, yeah. like, is this to save yourself and to save or to save... Everyone, everyone. The I don't think he knew the hundred percent answer. I think I, I, I literally, I, I don't know if he like is processing the fact. I don't think so. That he is but doing like, this for someone else. I, I think he's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm just gonna do it. I'm, not, I like maybe, I'm like, <laughs> like maybe I'm doing it for everyone he else. Like maybe like, I care. How, how can I, how can we survive? He said something like that. Well, he said like, how can I? we survive he's talking yeah, about this guy yeah. <laughs> but it was like like i'm gonna let you die you know? yeah. i don't know i really wonder if the if the reason why he like like wants to like let's say care only about himself and not other people like was he you know like burnt when he cared about other people in the past and then like some things happened to him and like maybe he like didn't want to you know 
allow that to happen to him again and that's why he is doing this because again there's always a reason why you act this way i think people are you know by nature social beings you know yeah, with, yeah, with, no, live in a society. potentially and so like i re- again i think we are maybe season three is i think his season three is his backstory because we could be uh, in this season he had a progression but like it was a slower one you know what i mean like we had more flint or other people who were yeah in the midst of things you know yeah i mean we had the whole flint's backstory for the love of god but like i do believe that like yeah. in the in the next season he did have a progress yeah and now like i said in that moment when the guy asked him i didn't know the answer i didn't know 100 percent answer to the, that question mm-hmm. and i again i think this is where his story is going there is no other way you know uh, so like I do believe we're gonna get his uh, story or backstory or yeah, whatever. I mean I think they did it season. perfectly. Like they built him up just enough, enough now in this yeah, in this yeah, season for there to be progression and for you to like really again I continue agree. caring about him. Uh, and like when you explain it more, I think it's just gonna be perfect. Perfect, perfect. Um, and like right now, like when we say Flint, are we all gonna fucking sit in a circle and sing Kumbaya? Because I think we should. Like <laughs> Jack is gonna go get the gold potentially. I mean, who else is gonna go get the gold? No one. Eleanor is now gone. So like, what the fuck is gonna be happening there? I don't know. Yeah. But like Jack, you can go and get the gold. And now when we all come back with Flint. Let's just all yeah. work together. I feel like Jack could be very easily reasoned with. You know what I mean? It's like Jack's like, oh, my gold. First, you can't protect it. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not your gold. You cannot protect it. Yeah. So I think we should all band I together. I think we will. Potentially. I, yeah. I think we will. But like, what is Flint going to do? Flint is about to be so fucking mad. Because, especially because, yeah, I don't know. Again, I have no idea. We're going to have to wait and see that. It was so. This was so fucking good. This yes. is like, I don't know what to do with how good this is. Yeah. Like, perfect. I don't know what to do with this. And we plan to watch the next episode mm-hmm. right now. Can you believe? Yes. Couldn't be more happy. Yes, I can't it. believe because we literally make all our plans based on how to watch Black Seals. What the fuck do you mean? Can you believe? Yes, I can't believe. <laughs> okay, Thank guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you very soon. Bye.